Hello again everyone, this is Steve Gardens 85 here. Uh, this is just a follow-up video from my harvesting and drying stevia. As you saw in the last video, I had taken and uh, bunched up and hung up the stevia plants with fishing line here in my garage, um, just in a dry area till they, uh, till all the moisture is out of them. And then what I've done is I've taken all of the branches and stripped the leaves almost 100% completely off. The only thing that's uh, left on there is the buds and um, looking to probably try and harvest some of those seeds and see if I can plant uh, my own plants from those uh, this coming season. So all you need, it's a very simple process, all you need is some vodka. Um, I hear that better vodka matters, but uh, for this experiment I'm trying the cheapest vodka I could possibly find to make this the most cost-effective project possible. I have the stevia leaves, which I've just crushed up and bagged up, and then a small, I think this is a 12-ounce mason jar, and what I've done is I've taken some of the crushed up leaves, and I want to do a small batch with uh, the cheapest vodka, and then I'll probably do another batch with a better vodka and see if I can tell the difference. Um, but I got this at the dollar store, and I think the vodka was about $5 at Walmart, so pretty cheap project to do. Um, I put this in, and then what you want to do is you want to fill with vodka just to where it's covering the stevia leaves, and you leave that for, you know, I've had a lot of research tell me three weeks to six weeks, so I'm going to probably go right down the middle of that. Um, and then once it has set long enough, all you have to do is strain all of the plant matter out of the vodka and you take your lid, liquid vodka and reduce it in a small saucepan under a very low flame. Uh, you don't want the vodka to catch on fire um, and you reduce it till it boils down to somewhat of a slimy consistency and um, once you have that consistency, you can basically use that a couple drops at a time to sweeten beverages, uh, foods, cereal, baking, um, pretty simple conversions online if you research and do a little looking for them, uh, how to use a liquid uh, sweetener in some of your baking projects and cooking projects. So that's all I have for today, just a quick review of how to extract the stevia side from the stevia plant. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask, rate, comment, and subscribe.